Oh, hey baby. <laughs> hey my dear, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I've just been chilling at home. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm glad you're back. Uh, you're not too tired, are you? Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm playing Pokemon. See? <laughs> it's, um, it's an older game. It's, uh, hang on, let me turn down the music. It's, um, it's an older game. It's called Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that I bought recently. Um, I had Pokemon Leaf Green. No, I still have it, but I played Pokemon Leaf Green when I was growing up. Um, and I bought Pokemon Fire Red to complete the collection. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's pretty old. It's like 2005, I think. <laughs> but, um, I actually got it a lot later than that. Uh, my parents got me this, um, Game Boy and Pokemon Leaf Green when I was like seven, eight, maybe. Um, yeah, they got this for me. Uh, so I'd have something to do when we, uh, when we moved here. Oh, yeah, I didn't quite tell you, uh, my little history, did I? Well, I used to be, I guess you'd call me a wild werewolf. I used to live in a protected forest, um, near the Victorian Alps. But my parents decided that it would be better for us, better for me, um, to move to Melbourne. Um, and when I was a wild werewolf, basically that means, um, we got to do normal werewolf stuff, well, I guess traditional werewolf stuff, like be in a pack have pack warfare and things like that but you know when we're out there we don't really go to school we have lessons on magic and fighting as a werewolf but not like actual school to live in a society and yeah my parents um decided that I'd be better off among humans. <laughs> and I mean, I don't I don't blame them. After all, if we didn't move here, I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> Come here. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> They, uh, they got me this Game Boy because, um, they wanted me to have something to do. Because, <laughs> you know, my best friend, um, his name was Orion. He stayed in the protected forest, um, and I was really lonely. I was lonely without my best friend. So... My parents got me Pokemon, sort of as a replacement, I guess. <laughs> Wait, you really haven't played Pokemon before? No, you're kidding. <laughs> I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> I can't believe you really haven't played Pokemon before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's... I mean, I, I suppose that's fair, but Pokemon's such an iconic game. How, how can you have not played it before? <laughs> oh, well, I guess... I guess that's not really for me to judge. Oh, wait, 
I have an idea, my dear. How about I show you how to play Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Here, hang on. Um, let me turn the volume back up, because uh, yeah, this music's just so nostalgic for me. I love it. So, okay. We are in... Right, if I go to my bag, I can show you this town map. We are here. Can you see my faces? Yeah, that's my character's face. We're in a place called Celadon City. And I come from here, Pallet Town. <laughs> and this whole area, it's called the Kanto region. It's, um, it's pretty big. Big for a little Game Boy game. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, okay, surely you know the basic premise of Pokemon, right? No? Oh, goodness. So, you have to catch Pokemon and battle with them. <laughs> battle with them and get gym badges and become a Pokemon champion. Basically. <laughs> oh, what Pokemon do I have? Yeah, 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 I'll show you. Okay. Uh, this is my party at the moment. So, we have... Alright, let's go to the summary so you can see the Pokemon here. So this is my Ivysaur. Uh, he is like a plant dinosaur. <laughs> so this is my starter Pokemon. Uh, when you first start the game, you get the choice between a grass Pokemon, a fire Pokemon, and a water Pokemon. And I picked... So Bulbasaur is the pre-evolution of Ivysaur. Ah, yeah, so so Pokemon can evolve. Um, basically, as they level up, can you see in the corner there, my Ivysaur is level 28. So when Ivysaur hits level 32, he'll become a Venusaur. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. So yeah, there's the stats and stuff. I'll show you that later. But then we have my Pidgeotto. Uh, she's a... A bird, basically. <laughs> this is Raichu. So you know Pikachu, right? Yeah, everyone knows Pikachu. So Raichu is the evolution of Pikachu. Um, and she's an electric type. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then we have Mr. Mime. Uh, he is a psychic type Pokemon. Um, yeah, psychic's pretty good. And then this is Doug Trio. Uh, yeah, she's pretty strong. Very fast as well. Uh, you'll see she's the fastest Pokemon on my team. Uh, yeah, stats, stats are important, but um, I'll, I'll tell you about those later. <laughs> Alright. Oh, baby. I have an idea. So, in Celadon City... Um, you can get a very special Pokemon. I'm going to enter this building here, and then go up of these stairs. And you can see here now we're on the roof of this building. So I'm going to go in here. And can you see this Pokeball on the table? <laughs> here, I'll give you my Game Boy. So see that A button? Click that. Ta-da! You obtained an Eevee. <laughs> uh, and yes, we're going to give it a nickname. I want to name this Eevee after you. <laughs> uh, so, I want to call it Baby. Is that okay? Are you good with that nickname? <laughs> Thanks. So, you just have to... Ah, uh, yeah, I'll type it in. Just B... A, B, Y. Ta-da, baby! <laughs> and there it is. There's our baby. <laughs> it's an Eevee. And, um, he'll grow up to be a very strong Pokemon. Um, actually, the cool thing is Eevee has multiple different evolutions. Um, so in Fire Red and Leaf Green, he's got three. He can be 
a Vaporeon, which is a water type, a Jolteon, which is an electric type, or a Flareon, which is a fire type. And you can evolve them using uh, a fire, thunder, or water stone. So it's really easy to evolve them. I already have all three of those stones. Um, if you're cool with it, I want to evolve Eevee into a Vaporeon because I uh, need a water type on my team. <laughs> I already have electric type in Raichu and fire type. I have a Growlithe uh, that I want to train up. So I'll probably train up Growlithe and then that'll be my fire type Pokemon for my team. Yeah. So, that's exciting, right? <laughs> um, and, okay, I should show you battling as well. I have an idea. So we're in Celadon City. That means there's a gym nearby. And at that gym, there are Pokemon trainers. So if you remember... Oh, no, I need to use... All right, one moment. We need to grab a Pokemon. So if you remember... Uh, we can use our Pokemon to uh, have battles. N no, not like animal fights. Um, <laughs> very, very different things. Um, <laughs> so, in Pokemon battles, you're basically trying to get your opponent's HP to zero. And you just do that by attacking them. Now, if you remember... Pokemon have types, so grass type Pokemon like Ivysaur are strong against water types, rock types, and ground types, but grass types are weak to flying, bug, fire, because you know, fire like burns grass, um, yeah, so... We're at the gym now. You can see the, the music's changed. So, I'm going to show you a Pokemon battle. So, I'm going to put Pidgeotto in the front, as you remember. Oh, and I didn't say it. So, the gym in Celadon City is a grass-type gym. Y yes. <laughs> so, the gyms have a type specialty. And Celadon is grass. So, because I have Pidgeotto, and Pidgeotto has flying-type attacks... I'm going to battle with my Pidgeotto. So, first battle. Yeah, you can take my Game Boy again. Last K wants to battle. Yep, so you press A. Good. And she sends out Bellsprout. So Bellsprout is a grass poison type Pokemon. It's also relatively weak, so if you click fight, Yep, and then you'll see four attacks. So my Pidgeotto knows Fly, Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack. So if you look on the right side of the screen, it says Flying for Fly, obviously. <laughs> and Gust, hopefully you can see, is also a flying type move. So Fly is much stronger, but it takes two turns to land the hit. Because first it flies up, and then it hits the target. Gust is weaker but it'll hit Bellsprout immediately. So do you have a preference which one you want to go with? Fly? Okay. So you just need to go to Fly and then hit A. See? And it says that Pidgeotto flew high. Now you'll see Bellsprout tried to attack there. Tried to use Stun Spore. Oh, and the Bellsprout's O-code. <laughs> Good job, baby. So... Stun Spore will normally paralyze a Pokemon. Status moves we'll talk about later. Uh, basically, it means there's a chance that Pidgeotto can't hit if it's paralyzed, because it like can't move. But when you're in Fly, uh, Stun Spore missed, because when you're flying, you're invincible to most attacks. So, do you get the basic premise? <laughs> there's a lot to wrap your head around, but good start for now. So she's about to send in a Weepin Bell. Weepin Bell is the evolution of of Bellsprout. So we can keep in Pidgeotto if you like. So it's asking do you want to change Pokemon? Now if you press yes 
you'll see that I also have my Mr. Mime. Uh, so Weaving Bell is also Grass Poison, and Poison types are weak to Psychic type moves. So you could bring in Mr. Mime if you wanted to use a Psychic type attack, but I think you're okay with Pidgeotto. So if you want to press B, yep, good job, and that means you keep Pidgeotto in. <laughs> Yeah, Weeping Bell does look a little bit derpy. <laughs> the the whole uh, Bell Sprout line does. Yeah, yeah, they're based on um, uh, what are they called? Pitcher plants. That's correct. Good, good observation. So you can do the same thing again. Press fight and then press fly. Yeah, and see there, Weeping Bell tried to use Poison Powder, but the attack missed. And then you hit the fly. Oh very close to hitting the attack, to, to getting the Oko. Uh, so, we didn't get the one hit KO on the Weeping Bell, and it landed its Poison Powder, so now Pidgeotto is poisoned. So the four main status conditions in Pokemon are Sleep, Poison, Paralysis, and Burn. There's a couple others, but we'll talk about them later. So with Poison, as you can see, Pidgeotto lost a bit of HP at the end of the turn. Basically, it lost about I think, the 1 16th of its HP. Poison, in the older games like Fire Red, also has an effect outside of battle. The Pokemon will continue to lose HP until it faints, or until you cure its poisoning. So, once this battle ends, we're going to make sure that our Pidgeotto is alright. <laughs> and we'll use an, an antidote to um, fix its poisoning. But the Weeping Bell has like one HP left, so you can use Fly again, you can use Gust Quick Attack, any attack you like. Quick Attack? Okay, sure. Quick Attack's a great choice because it will usually go first. Hopefully, as the name implies. <laughs> so, good job, the Weeping Bell has fainted. Pidgeotto has gained some EXP. As you can see, Pidgeotto leveled up. So whenever you defeat a Pokemon, you'll get some EXP back. Cool, and you defeated Last K. <laughs> Good job, baby. I'm so proud of you. It's fun, right? Yeah, I... Oh, and as you can see, as I started walking, Pidgeotto lost some of its health. But, yeah, Pokemon is real fun. Um, I... As I said before, Pokemon really was my whole childhood. Okay, let me turn this down. <laughs> Pokemon really was my whole childhood. <laughs> and it really means a lot to me. Um, so the fact that you want to learn a little bit about it really means a lot to me, baby. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I do kind of plan on just playing the whole evening. <laughs> I, um, I was a fair bit tired today. Yeah, yeah, I just need to relax a little bit. Do you want to watch me play? <laughs> I'm glad. Why don't you... Oh, I have a great idea. Why don't you grab some popcorn, I'll grab some blankets, and then we can cuddle on the couch or on the bed, whichever you prefer, and I'll keep showing you how to play Pokemon. Does that sound good? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Alright, let's go do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreons, especially my pack alphas, for making this video possible. The featured pack alpha is Jordan Keane. Thank you to them and everyone else on my Patreon for continuing to support me and making these videos possible. If you want to get things like early access, voting on future videos, as well as an exclusive channel on my Discord server, be sure to check out my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash in case you didn't know. <laughs>
uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you like, <laughs> and I'll catch you around. Bye-bye.